So what are some of the tips and tricks that we can use for your delivery services, say from Walmart, your grocery stores, or anybody as a matter of fact? Well, let's just talk about that today. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and we're going to talk about some tips and tricks that you can use on some of the delivery services that are offered to you out there. Now, first off, we're going to start with Walmart. Now, most grocery chains and everything else, they all have their own delivery services, and yes, you do have to pay for them. They can be um, quite accommodating. They can make things a lot easier, depending on your situation, but you don't always get the quality that you're looking for and you don't always get exactly what you wanted and sometimes it does come damaged. So let's start off with Walmart. With Walmart, if you are going to be doing an order to be delivered, if that's offered in your area, um, I do do that here just because there's so many people that go to the store, it is just insane. So I find it easier, I just do the delivery. Now, everything was running fine with that until Charlie Victor 19 hit. Now, once that hit, it has slowly, slowly, seems like each week gets a little worse. So what happens is, is if you're going to place an order to have it delivered, make sure that you're picking the earliest time slot available and do not pick nothing after 12 o'clock. Because what happens is there probably will not be nothing left once they start picking your order because people have already been in the stores and ransacked them from them being stocked overnight. So you want to make sure that you're picking the first available time slot, which I think is seven to eight or eight to nine, one of those two. And this way here, you're going to ensure that you do get most of the products that you do want. Now, if you're going to go to this store, you want to do this, the same thing. You want to make sure that you're at the store when that opens. Now, all the stores have all changed their times and everything else. A lot of the 24-hour stores are, well, they're not 24-hour stores anymore because most of them close by 10, 11 o'clock, at least in my area, I think. And this way here that they bring in these huge crews at night now and try to replenish as much as possible in that seven hour time frame. They're doing the best they can. A lot of them, these stores and stuff are pretty much shorthanded. A lot of the order pickers that pick your orders for delivery or pick up, you know, they're picking two, three orders at a time. You see them pulling around these big carts and stuff, you know, and they're trying to keep everything all situated separate, in the right order, and those type of things. Now with a lot of so your other delivery services uh, from your grocery store chains and everything else, uh, the same principles do apply. You wanna make sure that you have the earliest delivery you can get or the earliest pickup time that you can get. This way here you ensure that you get basically what you said you wanted or what you chose. Now, <clears throat> Right after Charlie Victor 19 did hit, when I started running into issues with all of a sudden I wasn't able to get things, and this is, uh, I would go to the store and even just pick it up. And they would say, okay, they didn't have this, they didn't have this, they didn't have this. So one day I was just like, okay, come on, really? So what I did was, is I went inside the store, I picked up my order, pulled around, parked the car, went inside, and there it was on the shelf. Now, there's an explanation for this. And I found this out from a Walmart manager. Okay, what happens is, is when there are stock on the shelves and everything else, and the store's open, the stuff is going off the shelf so fast that the computer system can't keep up with what they are restocking. So what you may see online and what shows that is available or not available 
may not be available at all because the system can't keep up with the de demand of what is going on right now. Now, rather you consider that panic buying, people prepping, people being prepared, people trying to avoid this situation of uh, when Charlie Victor 19 did hit, because we all saw what that was like and nobody wants to go through that again. Most people don't want to be caught with their pants down twice. If you kind of get what I'm saying. So, if you go into the store, more than likely you'll be able to find a lot of the things you may want. If you go early enough. The later you go, the less chances you have. If you wait till the evening time, you're pretty much SOL. Because it's probably not going to be there. It was there at one point, and now it's gone. And the same happens with the little computers that you see that the Walmart employees walk around with, which most stores all use almost the same type of a situation and same type of a machine. And if it says that it's not available, because it's basically going off of what our computer, or if you're doing it on the app, is saying, they don't even go look. It's not available. It could be sitting right there on the shelf but the system says it's not available. So the whole trick is, is you gotta try to make sure that you're doing that early morning pickup or early morning delivery, or you're going to the store early morning. And this way here, you can probably find just about anything that you're looking for. Now, a little trick. I shouldn't say it's a trick either, you know? I mean, it's a service. Walmart really stands behind what they deliver to you. So if their delivery driver comes and he puts the stuff out in your garage right now, you know, so they put it all in the garage and they leave and you go out there and you're checking and you know, you place this big old order and you're sitting there and you're looking and your eggs, you check your eggs. Now I check my eggs all the time because lately there's at least one to three eggs busted in every one. Now you can go right on to walmart.com and you can go to the grocery section right where you placed your order and there's a little thing right there, that little button and it says, make a return. You click that button and you scroll through and you find the items that were damaged. Um, if it was a substitution and you don't like it, um, if something happens, say it's produce or something like that and was bad, like, you know, if you order potatoes or something, there's rotten potatoes in it. That's happened to me. Though any type of situation like that, you click on those items that you would like to return. Now, that doesn't mean you have to take them to the store. You're doing a return. You click on that, and then it's going to bring up this next section. It's going to ask you why you want to return it. You know, if it was damaged, if it was, uh, you know, rotten, no good, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then you turn around, and you click whatever it is you need to click. And you hit continue and it takes you to the next screen and it says okay we're going to refund your money for these items and you click okay and boom your money is refunded you don't have to take it back to the store or anything else now i will give walmart credit where credit is due you know that is a huge thing you know because they're standing behind their products you know the reason you're probably having it delivered is because you don't want to be in the stores you don't want to be putting yourself into any type of a situation where, you know, you have a chance of uh, contracting to go to old Charlie Victor 19. Whether you're wearing a mask, you're not wearing a mask, wearing a face shield, whatever the situation may be. Now, a lot of people go into the, you, you, at least the stores around here, you can't go into anyways without wearing a mask. So I just wonder how a lot of people out there are doing shopping and are totally against the mask. That's kind of a curious thing. Maybe it's not the same in all the states, but at least in Florida, you know, if you're going to walk into Walmart, you're going to go in anywhere, you got to have a mask on. Because most all the stores all have great big huge signs. If entering, you must wear a mask. Now, they will provide you with a mask if you do not have one. Imagine that. So, we all know that there are quite a few people out there that 
don't agree with the mask thing, but hey, is what it is. I think it's going to be the new normal, no matter who's president. It's just a fact of life. We're going to have to deal with it for a while, folks. I don't like wearing mine either, but I also don't want to get sick. Who knows? So this has been a little tips and a little bit of tricks, you know, to make sure that if you're using the online services, you know, you're getting what you need. If you're going to the store, you can get what you need. You just got to get up early. Get up early, grab your coffee, and put it in a little mug and take it with you. You know, if that's what you got to do, if you don't want to pay for the delivery service, you know, but if you use it, I mean, like with Walmart, it's a hundred bucks a year. I mean, you can use it every day. <laughs> you can pay for itself in a week if you really want to look at it that way. You know, especially if you live, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes from the store or something. And it's bad weather. No, well, if it's offered in your area, why do you want to go out and let them deliver it right to you? But it's to each their own. And it's also, I guess, on what people can afford nowadays. You know, but it is a good feature to have. And all the stores, at least in this area, all offer some type of delivery service. So, just a little something to think about. A little food for thought. This way here keeps you safe. Give you a few ideas on how to make sure that you get what you want because that's what it's all about so this is survival preparedness for beginners and until next time i'll catch you all on the flip side